Think about Audrey Hepburn, and you probably think of her incredible sense of style and her personal elegance, whether dressed in leggings and flats or a Givenchy gown. Today, that incredible know-how for clothing, her savoir-faire, continues to be a source of both admiration and inspiration to designers and ordinary women. In her choice of clothing, she invariably knew what worked for her and kept to it. Her selections were timeless classics and epitomized Audrey style. Since her late teens, Audrey had always enjoyed fashion, starting out first as a catwalk and photographic model, where she showed off other people's ideas of style. Female fashion is a never-ending source of delight to women, although it may occasion a recurrent anxiety in men who have to foot the bill. But these lovely period dresses, to say nothing of ravishing new ones, are all designed for London's review, Sauce Piquant. All with pleasing and appropriate names, Champagne, Rainbow, The Violet, The Tulip, Enchantment, to quote only a few, they make a glittering show. What about this one? The headgear goes with this charming close-fitting model with slit skirt. this, a diaphanous overskirt with great appeal, even if you don't fancy the ears. The costumes are specially made for the show. They make an unusual and striking pageant. Dresses and the graceful wearers were the cynosure of all eyes. For well, this was beauty, amusement, and glamour all in one. Lovely screen star Moira Lister showed off two to great effect, printemps and enchantment. Everything about her, from earrings down to gloves, was designed to attract the admiring eye and add to her considerable natural endowments. A piquant source for the goose is equally a source for the male sex. So take a gander. The world's great couturiers, including, of course, Audrey's good friend, Givenchy, produced exquisite clothing that featured in her films as well as in her personal life. Both on and off screen, in a ball gown or jeans, she enthralled men and women with a look that was just right. Today, decades later, designers, style setters and average people continue to be inspired by the Audrey Hepburn look. This spring season is really the meeting of Katherine Hepburn and Audrey Hepburn. And Katherine being a little bit more sporty, tailored, a little bit more man-tailored, and Audrey Hepburn being much more feminine and pretty. So what we've done is we've kind of blended those two girls and with these great little kind of sweetheart dresses, but with, you know, silk taffeta, very sporty anoraks over them. I think that if you saw Audrey Hepburn in her heyday, she picked extraordinary clothes from Givenchy that made her look great at that moment. I think it's about the individual and what she feels she's gonna feel comfortable in. The theme is definitely Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe. That's the icons of the 50s and the 60s, so these girls are amazing, and that's what I'm doing this season. Uh, this time I, I, I choose for uh, my inspiration uh, Audrey Hepburn and Jacqueline Kennedy because in this period of time, the, the women uh, uh, like uh, uh, too, too much women, too, too much uh, elegant, belled, uh, gloves, and uh, bag, it's, it's like, like adults in this time. For this, I, I like this period. I work in this period for this uh, sensation. And as every good designer knows, it's all about the accessories. The hat, the gloves, the scarf, the bag. Audrey, probably like no other, used accessories to extraordinary effect. And even this little accessory of hers has made a huge comeback. <laughs> 